Hello guys, today uh, we'll be checking how to add and manage images into various created galleries and galleries into various groups according to the website owner's requirements. So basically using the Magento 2 image gallery plugin, now the Magento 2 platform based web store owner can easily manage photo gallery and gallery groups on the online web sites. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the workflow the same as you can see right now I'm at the storefront and I've just uh, demonstrated uh, the image gallery here. I've created uh, different uh, galleries as you can see each gallery is having different uh, images within that and I, I have uh, assigned these galleries to one of the uh, groups as well. Now, for example if I go to this one this gallery you can see that uh, I can find the image uh, that's within the same. Let me cross that out. Let's, uh, for example, uh, tap on the back button. So uh, here actually you have the image galleries and along the, with the gallery, this is the gallery one, for example, and this number denotes the number of images within the same. So this is the gallery number two with four images, gallery three with uh, four images, gallery four with four images and so on. So for example, if I tap on one of the galleries there, all of the images within that gallery are being presented. You can navigate through them uh, one by one by tapping the right uh, arrow here. And if you want, you can play uh, the slideshow as well. So if I tap here, you can see that uh, automatically the slideshow starts uh, moving up. Now this feature can be set up from the plugins back and configuration settings that I'll be showing you in a while from now. So for example, you want to pause, you can pause the slideshow. If you want to go to the left, tap the left one, left arrow, and you can just uh, navigate between the different images there. To cancel out this one, you can tap here on the close button, or you can tap here as well. So let's tap here on the close button, and these are the images within the gallery. Now let's tap on the back button, and uh, let's go to one more gallery there. So uh, let's go to this one, the gallery number three. So this is having four images. So if I tap on that, this is the image. If I want to go left, I can tap in the left arrow on the left hand side. Along with the same, you can see the uh, image is having its own name at the top, the heading there. Let's start on the left. If you want to close out, you can tap in the close out button. So uh, that's how the image gallery actually appears on your Magento 2 platform based web store that you're having online. And now let's hop on to the admin backend panel to see how initially we can configure this particular plugin and uh, we'll be creating one gallery and we'll be assigning a few images to it and then we'll be assigning the respective gallery to one of the groups there to the same group so that we can find that particular one being displayed here so let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, let's log into the admin backend panel by entering our username and the password so after the successful installation of this particular plugin, you'll have the image gallery and under that you'll have four different options. First three are to manage the images, gallery and groups and the last one is for the gallery settings. So uh, let's go to gallery settings first and then we'll see how we can add and manage images, gallery and groups there from the backend panel. So uh, under the configuration settings here under the uh, web code block on the configuration page, just scroll down to the image gallery and that will bring up the uh, configuration settings with the or the general settings for the uh, gallery there. Now here you can see that we have the opening effect whether you want to have uh, as none, you want to have it as a fade effect or an elastic effect. So for now let's choose it as elastic. What is the closing effect do, that you want? I'll choose it as uh, fade. Uh, do you want to display the captions there? If you want to display, choose a yes, otherwise choose a no. So for now, we'll say it as yes. Then we have the caption type, whether it's outside, inside, or, or, or the image itself, or is it floating? So for now, let's choose it as float. So it would, if we are choosing the float and the over, that will work on the uh, bottom position, not on the top left hand corner. Then we have the caption position, whether you want to have it at top or bottom. Uh, the background of the image, you can go for a dark one or a light one. You can choose whether it should be cyclic or not. You can choose the respective interval. So uh, let's make the interval as uh, 900. Do you want to have the borders with the images? Yes. If you don't want to have the borders, choose a no for that. 
uh, do you want to display the slide count yes for yes no for no and do you want to have the controls like uh, play pause the slideshow and left and right on the slideshow if you want that particular functionality just choose a yes for that lastly just tap here in the save configuration button so we are done with the configuration here and if you remember I had uh, put the interval as 900 just a few moments ago we had an interval of 500 and that was kind of a, a very fast now after setting the interval as 900 here you can see that the transition is very smooth along with the effect itself okay and uh, we have also set uh, the border as yes so we are having a border for the images you can see uh, now the images are having a border so if I just choose it as a no and save the configuration, come back here and uh, let me refresh the page once. And now uh, let's tap here on this image gallery and now you can see it's borderless, right? And if I play it, the 900 is the best one to uh, make a slideshow out of it. So that was the configuration settings. Now let's hop on to uh, the section there uh, for the image gallery and let's see how we can add and manage the images for the galleries so if it's the first time then this section would be empty otherwise uh, it would having be having all of the images that you've already added so right now you can see the complete uh, images are there with the title description sort order and the status and from the drop down you can enable disable or delete any of the images that you've already added within this particular section to add a new one just tap here in the add image button uh, set the image title let's set it as disco for the time being and uh, I'll set it as disco image I'll be choosing one image so here I'll be choosing this image uh, I'll set the sort order for the image at enabled and save image so uh, now you'll see that the image would be added here and we can find it uh, in the list of the images so here are we having the title disco description disco image and the image itself so that was how we can add the images now coming to the galleries let's go to the gallery and create one of the galleries there and here you'll find the rest of the galleries that we have already created around five galleries now to add anyone just tap here in the add gallery so let me set it as disco gallery and the code I'll set it as enabled. Let's go to the gallery images. This one I'll be choosing as the gallery image and I'll just tap here in the save gallery button. Now after we have saved the gallery you'll be able to find different columns like the gallery title, the gallery code, the image IDs that are within those uh, galleries and the thumbnail, thumbnail images for all of the uh, galleries there, the enable option and the uh, edit link under the actions column for editing any of the created galleries from the drop down you can enable disable or delete any of the created galleries so for example if you want to uh, disable the gallery number five you can tap here on the disable after that and the gallery number five would be disabled and that you can check under the status here disable gallery number five that was how we can add the uh, galleries now coming to the uh, manage groups so depending upon your requirement, you can create any number of groups as you want and you can assign these uh, galleries into them. So here you can see that I've created one group, group one, and the status is enabled and the gallery IDs that are associated with it. So let's edit this and let's add our new uh, gallery to this. So here we have the group code and the enable option and here's the number six gallery that we have. And let's tap here on the save group button. Now, uh, if I go to the front end, we'll be able to, you can see that the gallery six has also been added to this particular group. Similarly, to add a new group, you can just tap here in the add group button, and then you'll have to set up the group code, enable it, go to the galleries, choose the galleries that you wanna have within this uh, uh, group, save that, and we are done. Now, let me refresh the page once. So uh, that was much about the Magento 2 image gallery and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same and do kindly uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.